Hello and uh, welcome to another ENS website training video for Drupal. Today we're going to be having a quick overview of your administration toolbar. The administration toolbar can be seen once you have logged into your Drupal website. On the right hand side of the screen you can see your user account which will always be admin. The login button which will log you out of the system. On the left hand side of the screen on the grey navigation bar, we can see the Add Content button. Add Content simply allows you to add a Create Basic page which you can add to your website. Find Content opens up your Content Overview page. This will give you a list of all the content that you have created. For now, all we have created are basic type pages. From this Content Overview window, you can edit or delete pages quickly and easily. It also gives you a good understanding of all the different pages you have created. To edit any page, simply select Edit, and this will open up the Edit Page window. The Find Content tool will always be useful to you if you have created a lot of pages and you wish to be able to access them quickly and easily. If you wish to view any of your menu items, or change around the order quickly and easily without having to individually go to each page, you can do so by going to Structure. In Structure, you have control over two different types of structures, your block structures as well as your menu structures. To examine the menu, please select the Menus option here. By default, Drupal will give you access to User Menu, Navigation and Management. These are menu links which you will not need to be able to control. The only ones that you will be interested to use are the main menu links. And this will show you all the main links in the top navigation bar of your website. To see these links, simply select List Links. This will show you all the different menu links. Previously it was shown when you created a page to give each page a weight so as to determine its layout in the navigation bar. However, if you have lots of menu items and you wish to change them around quickly and easily, you can do so by simply clicking and dragging on each of the menu links. Changes will not be saved in this table until the form is submitted. So once we save configuration, we can now see that the layout of the navigation bar has changed according to how we clicked and moved our content around underneath our menu links. If you wished, for instance, to make a sub-page for any main page navigation, you can do so by clicking and dragging the menu item underneath the navigation you would like it to be. Make sure you save configuration or this change will not be made. As discussed before, when creating a sub-menu item, you must ensure that not only is the main link enabled, but also that it is enabled as expanded. Simply select the edit of that page and make sure we are selecting the show as expanded link so that when you hover over, that link page will be shown as expanded and will expand to show all the sublinks beneath it. Simply select Save and then when we hover over Contact Us, as is listed here, we can see that the wide Drupal page is now beneath it. Similarly, a block overview, which is also contained within the structure page, this takes us to an overview of all the blocks that we have present on the Drupal website. Blocks are placed within regions and depending on the design of your theme you will have a number of different regions. Most will always have a main menu as well as a footer message. The main menu region holds your main navigation menu and the footer message region here holds the footer message which will be in place on your footer. Usually this will contain your copyright information as well as your Power by ENS logo. Depending on the design of your website, you will either have a right sidebar or a left sidebar. Your content controls all the main content of the page, it should never be removed. Some websites may have a banner region in which you can place a still image or rotating banner. You can see here that this rotating banner is in place underneath the menu. Drupal will also have a number of disabled menu items which are part of the default Drupal install. For instance, such menu items as Powered by Drupal and Recent Commons, all which are on your website installed by default, 
but which are disabled as they will not be needed by you. If you wish to add a block to your website, for example a block of content to appear on the right sidebar of a page, you can do so by adding the add block icon here on the top of the page. The configuration option, which is the third on the navigation link of the top left hand side of the screen, for most part will always be a blank page unless you have a custom built module such as a Drupal web store running. Thank you for listening in. That is a brief overview of your administration toolbar.